Anyong Haseo, welcome to that 70s rock fan Korean movie previews and reviews. Uh, thank you for joining and watching this video. Um, today, I'd like to preview an upcoming movie called Target. Well, it appears to be called Target. There are posters around with it being called Don't Buy the Seller. Uh, but Target is the name that uh, I'm currently uh, assuming the movie will be finally released as. And it's an upcoming thriller directed by Park Yi Gon and starring Shin Hee Soon, Kim Sung Kyun, and Kang Tae Ho. And it's uh, produced by uh, Megabox Plus M. It will be released in South Korea on August the 30th. I do not yet know if there's a North American distributor or release scheduled, so I'm awaiting information on that. Reached out to Plus M to see if they've got any info. Um, so before we get into a little bit more detail in the movie, let's take a look at the trailer and see... Just what this movie's all about. Oh, you're going to be so good. I'm 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 going to be so good. 혹시 안에 계세요? I wonder what's in the freezer. <웃음> 아니 딱 봐도 같은 놈인데 왜요? 무슨 조사하고 있어? 그 놈이 거기 있었습니다. 우리 근처에 같이 가요. 있었다고요. 그 놈이 우리를 찾은 거냐? 고민 얼굴을 아는 사람이 나밖에 없잖아요. 한번 해봐야죠. Yeah, there's the "Don't Buy the Seller" um, title. Um, so, could be "Don't Buy the Seller," could be "Target." Uh, great trailer, actually. A lot of uh, a lot of tension there. Unlike a lot of trailers we get now, it's not. That wasn't too long. It wasn't too overblown and too long. It just showed you some key moments. And certainly built up the tension, though. I think we all know what's in the freezer. Or, well, we think we know. <laughs> uh, yeah, so looks good. Uh, so, yeah, let's have a little uh, deeper look into the plot then. So uh, it's basically uh, the main character, Soo Hyun, she um, purchases, she's recently moved, into a new house or a new apartment, she buys a used washing machine through a marketplace app online. But, uh, you know, it doesn't work. Something's wrong with it. So uh, being, as we all would be very annoyed by this, she goes online, um, leaves comments about the seller, complaining about the, uh, it's the fact that it's a scam and it's, it's it was a worthless piece of equipment. Um, and then she also reports this this fraud to the police. Unfortunately, little does she know that the seller happens to be a psychopathic serial killer, as they do, uh, who uses this marketplace online to, to look for and lure victims. So her comment has taken uh, its toll on his account on this marketplace and um, basically ruin that avenue for this this person. So uh, naturally, he turns his attentions to her and starts to target her with a series of escalating scares and um, uh, you know things like uh, f phone calls, sending people to her door, seeing things about her online. But then it escalates far more than that. So basically, he targets her. And uh, she has a hard job getting uh, getting something done about this, even though she does go to the police and does enlist the help of a couple of detectives. So, and basically, you saw one of the parts in there where the senior detective opens a freezer in the address of 
that they thought was the seller's place and uh, well, they find something in there. So, uh, yeah, so a ex- great thriller premise. Um, looking forward to it very much whenever I get the chance to see it. But uh, it stars a uh, really nice cast, actually. The uh, three leads are Shin Hee Soon, who, who plays the, the uh, Su Hyun, Su Hyun character. Um, also Kim Sung Kyun, and uh, who plays the senior detective, Detective Ju, and then as the I, I think, assuming the junior partnership in the detective pair is uh, Kang Dae Ho, as Detective Na. So um, Shin Hee Soon is a hugely popular actress in uh, principally in television. There's there's been movies, but uh, TV shows like Mr. Queen. Uh, and see you in my 19th life. She's had a lot of success in those. She's very popular. So looking forward to see what she's going to do with this really dramatic uh, role here um, because it's a pretty scary position to be in. So, <clears throat> um, Co-starring with her is uh, Kim Sung Kyung, who's the de- senior detective, as I say. Here he is opening the freezer. <laughs> um, he's a great actor. Been in a lot of top movies over the years and TV shows. You'll see him an awful lot if you watch Korean stuff. Um, most recently, a couple of great television shows, one of which my uh, my Mrs. Rock fan is a big fan of, Divorce Attorney Shin. Um, but he's also in one of my favorite shows, DP, two seasons of, of DP on Netflix, where he plays the, um, the sergeant in the military police, uh, cynical, but underneath a heart of gold. And he's certainly in DP season two, he was absolutely outstanding. Uh, you, you could say he almost stole the show a little bit, I think, but a uh, great actor. So <clears throat> playing his, um, his uh, younger I think the junior partnership of the detective, where is Kang Dae Ho, is Detective Na. Um, he's been in a number of movies and TV shows. A movie, One movie I've seen is Feng Shui, which we'll talk about in a little while. Um, but he's also been uh, in a <coughs> very successful couple of very successful television shows like Extraordinary Attorney Wu. So... Um, I'm not, you know, other than Feng Shui, I'm not hugely familiar with his, his work. So again, looking forward to seeing him in a feature length movie again. Um, so those are the three main stars, but there is um, an intriguing support role for Im Chul Su, who, as far as I can tell, his role in the movie is unknown. So... And kind of figuring you might draw your own conclusions from that. I may be leaping to the wrong conclusion, but perhaps he's the uh, the unseen bad guy. Uh, that's a possibility. I don't know that or not. He's an extremely likable actor, though, and I would kind of like it if he was playing the bad guy. Um, he's um, He's been in a lot of support roles over the years, things like Alchemy of Souls and Vincenzo. So I'm looking forward to seeing if he gets to play the bad guy in this one. I, I don't know if he is or not, but certainly his role is marked as unknown at the moment, So, or cameo. Uh, so that could be interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens with that. Um, yeah, good cast, really nice cast. Um, the director is a guy called Park Hegon, and I haven't seen a lot of his stuff other than the 2018 uh, movie uh, drama Feng Shui, which I mentioned a little bit earlier because both Kim Sung Hyun and Kang Tae Ho both appeared in this movie. So he has worked with both those guys before. It was it's a pretty good movie, um, really great historical drama. Um, so, you know... Very well directed. So looking forward to seeing what uh, what happens with that. So yeah, that's Target or Don't Buy the Seller, depending on <laughs> which poster you choose to look at. It's certainly known as Target on uh, Plus M's website. So go check that out and you'll see the trailer and other materials there. 
Uh, great. So coming out August 30th in South Korea. There we go. Um, date of release in North America for me anyway is yet uh, as yet unknown. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. If I do get the chance to watch the movie uh, after it comes out, I will certainly do a review of it. Looking forward to seeing if it's as tense and thrilling as it looks. So till next time and the next Korean movie preview or review, I uh, hope you all stay well. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Yeah.